Ever pondered why running a business feels like a Herculean task? Well, you're not alone. Let's dive into this concept called the struggle. It's an idea from Ben Horowitz's book, The Hard Thing About Hard Things. It's that grueling period that all entrepreneurs inevitably face. It's not about the shiny success stories or the glossy magazine covers. It's about the real, raw challenges that can either make you or break you as a leader. Imagine you're in a dark tunnel and there's no light at the end of it. That's the struggle. It's about feeling lost, feeling like you're failing, and not knowing when or if you'll ever find your way out. It's about the sleepless nights, the stress, the uncertainty. But here's the thing. The struggle is not your enemy. It's a teacher, a mentor, a guide. It's there to shape you, to mold you into the leader you're meant to be. Remember, the struggle is not your enemy, but a teacher in disguise. Not all battles are fought on the battlefield. Some are fought in the boardroom. The corporate world often sees two distinct types of leadership, the peacetime CEO and the wartime CEO. A peacetime CEO lives in a world of expansion and potential. They focus on enlarging their market share, innovating and leveraging the company's strengths. They're the architects of growth, the champions of creativity, the masters of strategy, and the builders of culture. In contrast, a wartime CEO operates under the shadow of survival. They're the generals in the trenches, unafraid to make the hard calls. They're ruthless, focused, and unyielding. They don't have the luxury of expanding markets. Instead, they must defend their territory, maintain their position, and ensure the company's survival. Yet the most effective leaders can navigate both worlds. They understand when to inspire and when to command, when to innovate and when to consolidate. Knowing when to be a peacetime CEO and when to transform into a wartime CEO is the mark of a true leader. People, products, and profits, the three Ps that every entrepreneur should swear by. In the world of business, Ben Horowitz places significant emphasis on these three elements, people, products, and profits. He understands that these are not just words but pillars that hold up any successful venture. Firstly, people. The backbone of any organization. It's essential to invest in your team, to nurture their growth, and to foster a culture of mutual respect and transparency. After all, it's the people who breathe life into an idea, turning it into reality. Secondly, products. The tangible manifestation of your vision. It's crucial to ensure that what your company produces is not only of high quality, but also serves a genuine need in the market. It's about creating something that people want, something that solves a problem, something that makes lives better. Lastly, profits. The lifeblood of a business. Without a healthy bottom line, it's impossible to keep the wheels turning. But it's not just about making money. It's about creating sustainable, long-term profitability that allows your business to grow, to innovate, and to continue serving its purpose. Balancing these three aspects, people, products, and profits, is no easy task. It requires a keen eye, a steady hand, and a heart that's not afraid to make tough decisions. But when you manage to strike that balance, you'll find that your company can not only survive the struggle, but thrive in it. People products profits the holy trinity of successful entrepreneurship why do hard things because that's what separates the great from the average ben horowitz in his book the hard thing about hard things emphasizes this point painting a vivid picture of the often unseen struggles of entrepreneurship the book is not a guide to avoiding difficulties but rather a call to embrace them it's about recognizing that the path to greatness is paved with challenges and that these challenges are not roadblocks, but stepping stones. It's about understanding that it's not the absence of problems that makes a great entrepreneur, but the ability to navigate through them. Horowitz teaches us that there are no shortcuts to success. It's not about finding an easy way out, but about finding a way through. It's about making tough decisions even when they're unpopular, even when they're painful. It's about taking responsibility not just for success, but for failure too. And why is this important? Because it's in these hard things that we grow. It's in these challenges that we discover our potential, that we build our resilience, that we develop the skills and the character necessary to succeed. In the end, the hard thing about hard things teaches us that running a business is tough, but those who dare to face the challenges head on are the ones who truly succeed. So, embrace the hard things. They're not just part of the journey, they are the journey.